overnight. Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe has finally returned to the UK after spending six years imprisoned in Iran. Nazanin was reunited with her family at the airport where they hugged and chatted. Her traumatic ordeal brought to an end after the government finally settled that £400 million debt owed to the regime in Tehran. Well, joining us now, Nazanin's sister-in-law, Rebecca Ratcliffe. Well, what an amazing morning it must be for you, Rebecca. Yeah, we, we haven't had much sleep, to be honest. <laughs> it's um, been quite a last 24 hours. Um, you know, with the news yesterday morning, she's getting picked up to the airport and then not knowing whether she'd get on that flight or not and the delays, and then all of a sudden seeing that flight take off and watching that flight tracking across the skies, you know, the last sort of seven, 12 hours, have long took, it felt like forever. Um, and then finally, the early hours this morning, as you say, seeing that footage um, of her touching down and, you know, in the arms of Richard and, and Gabriella, just really quite overwhelming. It, it, it's, it feels a little bit like sort of on Christmas morning, you know, waiting for Santa and then Santa finally arriving. It, six years we've been hoping for this moment. And it's really quite a joyous, emotional moment for us. Because, of course, Rebecca, over those six years, there's been so many moments when you thought it was going to happen, only to have that hope stolen from you as well. Oh, absolutely. You know, we've had so many uh, close calls where there's been planes waiting to take her home or we've had phone calls from the British Embassy. She's about to come home. And and so we found it really hard this week to get too excited. You know, we, we struggled to believe she was coming home until we saw her on that flight. So that first photo of her on the flight finally taking off, um, I think that's when it first started sinking. She might be coming home. We might get our girl back again. It's an incredible moment. Rebecca, we've just been watching that reunion at the airport. It, for six of Gabriella's seven years, her mother has been imprisoned or detained in Iran. It, that moment for Nazanin is incredibly emotional. I can imagine for Gabriella, it must be almost overwhelming. Yeah, I think it's, it's difficult for her to comprehend, isn't it? You know, this is a little girl that for most of her life hasn't known a, a childhood with both her parents. She's known a childhood with mummy and granny and she's known a childhood with daddy. Um, so this has been something she's been wanting for a long time, but probably doesn't quite know how to cope with. Um, but, you know, she gets to see her mummy. And then last night, I, I just heard from Richard that she slept in the bed with them in between them all like, like, last night. So I, th I think that's a really special moment for, for all three of them, actually. Tell us a little bit about Richard, uh, and, and what, because we've met him on a number of occasions, Rebecca, and he's always sort of blown us away with his composure, his eloquence, his ability to tread that line between being able to, to push the agenda of trying to do everything he can to get Nazanin back, but not got so far that he could uh, upset the Iranian regime to cause her more damage. He's, mm -hmm. he's an extraordinarily composed person. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I think for him, he, you know, he's got a, a silent determination and he will he will keep going. But we've always known, you know, it's a delicate situation. You couldn't go in like a bull in a china shop because it could just jeopardise her case. Um, so we had no choice but to keep going, keep fighting. And, and, you know, his life's been on hold for six years. All he could do was keep fighting to get her release. Um, and of course, it's finally paid off. But yeah, amazing attitude. And, and I think most of us would have lost the plot long ago, but he, he's kept going. Tulip Sadiq said last night that he was told, your brother was told, if you go public on your wife's case, it may be that she never comes home again or that she dies. Do you <clears throat> remember in the early days the thought process he had to go through that made him go you know what, I'm going to take the risk because it's worth yeah, it I... if going high profile and loud and campaigning could actually bring her home. I, I, in those first few weeks, you know, the, the, that's Iranian tactics. Um, they, they will tell you to intimidate you. You know, they're trying to intimidate you to keep quiet, to keep the power over you. And in those first few weeks, of course, it worked. But he spoke to more and more families of other detained um, hostages. And, and I think he realised that actually... You know, the power was in, in transparency and the power was in taking it to the media and making her case known. Um, obviously, we hoped it would have resulted in an outcome in our favour a little bit sooner, but um, we always felt that she would have had a longer sentence, the trauma would be much greater if we hadn't gone public, if he hadn't have been uh, so vociferous in the media. Um, and um, yeah, very difficult, isn't it? I think other families haven't quite made that decision because they've been intimidated, but... Um, 
he's, he's, he's quite determined. He is tenacious, to say the least. Have you got a plan for a reunion? Do you know when you're going to finally get to see yourselves? <laughs> Well, I, I'm pushing for a reunion at the weekend. I, I don't know whether it'll happen. Um, I, I think there's, you know, we have to take it in Asnan's right uh, pace. Uh, there's a lot of trauma and, uh, um, and, and anxiety at the moment. So they're going to stay in the safe house for a day or two and then hopefully we'll meet up at the weekend, but it may be delayed till next week. You mentioned that uh, last night when she, they got together, Gabriella, you know, is, is there lying between the two of them. Um, we also hear that the, the first thing that Nazanin wanted was a cup of tea. And <laughs> so Richard was going to make her a cup of tea uh, when they got into their uh, kitchen at the safe house. How are they going to spend the next few days, weeks? There's a lot of rebuilding to do, isn't there, for Nazanin? Yeah, I, I think it'll be the simple things. It'll be the cups of tea, um, probably the cooking. Nazanin has a great love for cooking and, and, and you know, showing her love through food. Um, I, simple things like reading stories to Gabriella, going for walks, all those things that you take for granted that she's been wishing to do for the last six years, um, I, I think is probably going to happen. Um, at what point they go back to their own house um, and and start rebuilding their lives, I'm not quite sure. I think the next few days is, is just the three of them mm. are just trying to do those uh, simple everyday things. Because, of course, Gabriella wants to go back to school. She wants to take her mum to school to meet some of her school friends, to meet her teacher, to see some of her school work. Yeah, Gabriella will definitely want to show off her mummy um, and um, obviously in her community. And, and I think that's, that's going to be a difficult thing for Nazanin mm. because Nazanin only just moved into that community before she got taken. So all the people that Richard and Nazanin uh, and Gabriella know, Nazanin hasn't really met yet. So I think it, it'll probably be when Gabriella starts going back to school, mummy will start coming uh, on pickups. But I, I'm, I'm not sure how quickly that will happen. That's going to be one hell of a show and tell when her mum eventually comes in, <laughs> isn't chance. it? Just reassure us, Rebecca, because she said it was a cup of tea that she wanted first. Uh, Richard, can you make a mean cup of tea? <laughs> oh, he puts too much... It put, doesn't put enough milk in it for my liking, <laughs> but I, I think she likes it. <laughs> I'm sure however it came, it would have tasted sweeter than ever, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Oh, and, um, and what's Richard said, um, Rebecca? What, what, you know, what, what have you said to him? What, what's he said to you? Oh, trying to get hold of him is obviously quite tricky at the moment. I mean, he, you know, he's just over the moon, isn't he? Um, he, I think he struggled to believe it more than the rest of us. I think until she came back, until she was in his, his arms, couldn't quite take it in. Um, so I, I think um, just over the moon. Do you think, because you, you said, you know, seeing her get on the plane was one thing. I wonder even if it it didn't feel like it was going to happen until that moment around one o'clock this morning in the dark mm -hmm. where the plane doors open and she walks down the steps, whether that was the moment he could finally believe that she was, she was home. Yeah, I mean, you know, for the last six years, he hasn't been a normal husband. He's been a campaigning husband and, um, her, you know, it's difficult to come out of that and be a normal husband and, and see that she's home and believe that. And we've had so many false hopes and dashed hopes over the last six years to finally accept that the reality is she is finally coming home and they can start rebuilding their lives is, is, is a hard thing for him to take on board. Um, so I suspect until that moment where they're together and holding each other, he couldn't quite grasp it. Yeah. Rebecca, thank you so much for joining us and sharing a little bit of this joy. I can't tell you how many hundreds of messages we've had from viewers this morning. Oh, Just thrilled so for, your for your family and for Nazanin and Richard and Gabriella as well. In tears of joy watching uh, the reunion as well. And if you get the chance, as you say, you, you're going to take it at Nazanin's pace. Yeah. And, and that's, I'm sure that's absolutely the right thing to do. Of course it is. But if you do get to see her in a couple of days' time, what's the first thing that you'll you'll do? I think there'll be lots of crying and hugging. I, I, I don't think there'll be anything else. And probably one of these famous cups of tea, although I'll supervise what my brother makes. <laughs> Quite right, too. Got to get it right. <laughs> Rebecca, great to see you. Do and, please um, send them all our love. Yeah. Well, do. Thanks so much. Um, the... Take care.